Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Skin Time TV with Ashley. This is kind of impromptu. I actually wasn't expecting to be recording this video, but as you can see, I have no shower curtain hanging up right now. I'm actually taking down my old shower curtain rod and reinstalling a new curved shower curtain rod, which come to find out is a lot more complicating. This one involves anchors and holes in the wall. <laughs> So I started doing it. I have two anchors in. I have two holes ready for the other two anchors. I felt like it would be great to get this content. So why not? I'm about to have a little bit more elbow room in my shower and I'm really excited about that. And I also got a brand new extra heavy shower curtain liner. They're nice and quality. I paid like $10 for this shower liner, but I'm really excited to just have the utmost comfort and just be a lot more pleased with the look of my shower curtain and my liner. And I'm just excited to see how much of a difference this makes on my bathroom. So I'm excited. Okay, anyways, let's get into it. So I have my drill here and I've already finished screwing the holes. So I'm just going to go ahead and push or hammer these other two anchors in. So I don't know what this is, but this came with it and it doesn't explain anything. But I would think that this is to like support the inside of this. So this goes on the end and this part goes in this. So as you can see, it's curved. I'm really excited. It really might add to the aesthetic of my bathroom and I just can't wait. It's the little things for me, y'all. It is the little things for me. Okay, so yeah, so this is like that. All right. I think this goes in here, but it's like once I drill this in, this is it. So you need to let me know what this does and you're not telling me. That's why a picture is worth a thousand words, I'm telling you, because the ball here is like, you know, visible, and then that's just sitting on top. So that's what it does, and the little flat part goes underneath. So this is like a wall thing, but they should have said that. All right, so what we're gonna do is hope for the best here, and I'm gonna screw this into the wall. The part that's protruding goes outside of the bathtub, away from the bathtub. Oh, so fun fact, after you use the drill, you gotta go back to the other screwdriver head when using a screw. So we're just gonna Oh, I don't need to. Okay, put your bag. So now the curtain rod, and then these little screws I've actually never seen before go in the tops and the bottom. So they like they like little barbells. It's so cute. Get it. It's so cute. Okay. Oh. Why is it so Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, this is not. This is the fail. Okay. Sorry, I had a phone call. But, um,. Yeah, I don't think that I did this correctly, but I'm not gonna give up hope yet. Oh, I think this is supposed to go this way. Okay, I did these upside down. Is what I did. Don't die on me now. This is challenging to do on my own. I'm not gonna lie. Now for the other side. I may have put myself in a bad position. Let me see. I can defy. 
I make sure <laughs> No. <laughs> this is so annoying. So obviously this thing needs to go in this thing. At this point I'm irritated. <laughs> At this point, I am irritated. Okay. I'm gonna retie my hair and just move side and start over. It has literally been 30 minutes, but I have had a couple breaks, so it's not even fair to do to myself, but it's taking longer than I thought it would. Let's do this. bar is a little loose, but at least the wall piece is okay. So now I can hang up my shower curtain. So goodbye to the twisty curtain rod that barely fits. Okay, so it's done. This says 43 minutes because I stopped a lot and got on the phone and had a couple catastrophes. But all in all, if the process went a little bit smoother and it could have definitely gone a little bit smoother than it did, some hiccups were inevitable. But I think it would have taken me like 30 minutes, maybe 25 to 30. Um, but it wasn't that bad. And now I'm going to see how much space I've got. So I'll be right back. Okay. Yes! That elbow room. Love it. I have lots of room. I can like wiggle and like stretch and I'm happy. So it's really subtle and I think it protruding out just adds a nice little effect. I need to straighten this out. It's been bothering me. It's missing. The one is crooked, but it's supposed to be like this. So I guess. While I'm at it, I'm gonna fix that. But, um, well, now I'm definitely gonna fix that. Okay. <laughs> so now we've gotten two things done in one. This looks good. This is finally even, so if you guys have ever been having issues <laughs> looking at that, if it was crooked in any of my shots, it's fixed now. And we in there. I think the bathroom is cute. It's small, it's quaint, but now I have a little bit more room in my shower, so it makes it feel a lot bigger when I'm taking a shower or a bath. And I can't wait. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode. Don't forget to like this video because I know you did. Don't forget to comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know how it looks. Did it make a big difference or not? Were these pictures really bothering you in the background? Um, and don't forget to subscribe and share this with your friends. Hit the notification bell so that you can receive alerts as soon as I post next week's video. And stay tuned, guys.